How's it going, guys? My name is Zach with the Movie Castle, and today we're going to be talking about Ghost Lore, issue number one. Uh, this is from Boom Studios and was written by Colin Bunn. Colin Bunn, you know, for like Harrow County, uh, did a bunch of Deadpool, a really good horror writer, and it seems like we've been getting a lot of new series from him from a bunch of different companies. Uh, just last week, I took a look, uh, a look at Oni Press's uh, Lamentation, which he wrote, which I really like that one. Uh, this one seems to be an, an interesting beginning to a ghost story. This girl is having a hard time with her father. Her father is the local preacher, and she wants to get out of this town as soon as she turns 18. But there's a car wreck, and now she can kind of see ghosts. And the ghosts have a really cool design, and what they want from her is probably pretty interesting. So, I'm curious how this is all going to play out. Like I said, it's an issue one, so you don't really know too much of the book's overall shape yet. But the idea of patching things up with her father, hopefully, we don't know, and um, figuring out how to deal with all these ghosts, I, I see a good setup there. Also interesting in this book is there's a bit of an aside in the middle of the book where they kind of explain something that happened with the girl's little brother. And I am really curious uh, if, this, if these asides will be something they do all the time. It has a different art team. And, you know, with Ghost and the idea that all these different ghosts would have backstories, it could be really interesting if every issue we get like a ghost backstory or something and it jumps to a different artist team. That could be really cool, so I'm hoping that's a motif we see again, but who knows. Uh, overall, I think this is an interesting start, but it is hard to say how the whole book's going to play out, but I like the ideas that I see here. Anyway, if you guys want to see more, I'm going to switch you to the close-up camera. I'll show you guys a little bit of the physical release, a little bit of the story, and a little bit of the art. I'll try to avoid major spoilers, but if you want to see a little bit more, let's go ahead and switch to the close-up camera. Alright, here we are inside the castle taking a closer look at Ghost Lore, number one. Apparently, Ghost Lore is all one word. Uh, bring it close to the camera. You'll note this is a very long credit line on the front. More on that in a second. Tiny little number one in the corner. And we get our two main characters on either side of the steeple. The dad, who is the uh, local pastor, and the girl, who is kind of an angsty teen. The, pa uh, the steeple and the whole church, really. Roots or vines or some sort of plant life. And then you get this gang of mysterious people and a nice little dog. So you know, you know they're not all bad. They got a nice dog. Anyway, flip it to the back. We get this fun black and white motif, and we get 01011, which I thought it was supposed to be 00111 because it was the issues first and then cover and printing, but maybe they had more than 10 covers? Is that how you do it? I, I don't know. I just I don't know why that zero's in a different place. Uh, 4 dollars so a pretty standard, uh, slightly higher, but you know... Indie comics, got to charge more to keep the light on. And I do like the little roots inside the O of ghost lore. Uh, anyway, if we crack it open, you know I said the cover line was a little bigger. Uh, that's because we have this whole subsection here. We can see the creation of this comic, created by Colin Bunn and Leo Max, who are the writer and illustrator. And this is colored by Jason Wordy, but the unfolding segment was illustrated by Brian Hurt and colored by Bill Crabtree, so a completely different writer and artist. So it is interesting that we do have a subsection in here, and I'm hoping the asides are a little motif that will continue on throughout this book and give it something kind of different. And I don't know if it'll always be Brian Hurt and Bill Crabtree, but that would be interesting, you know, to, to have this whole other art section. Anyway, 
after that we go into the uh, story proper. Now I'm not going to be doing any major spoilers, but I do want to say my piece on a few plot points and make sure you guys have a basic understanding as to what the book's about. I'll try not to spoil more than I have to though. Anyway, jumping on in, we see this guy. He's the pastor, and he talks about how, like a mantra, his mother used to say, seeing is believing, and how he says that sometimes you can't see and have to just have faith. And we do get a few things here. The tree motif in the nice purple, purple on white, very cool and surreal. We get to see the church is a little bit empty, and we do get to see the wife, the daughter, and the son, who is kind of withdrawn and quiet, they say he's not speaking. The son's not speaking, and the daughter wants to get out of there as soon as she turns 18. Well, we get him saying goodbye, talking to his wife, talking about how the church isn't doing great since the incident, which I won't spoil, but there was a small town tragedy, and now not as many people are showing up. We get a scene where the daughter is sneaking off to smoke behind the church, and we do get some purple trees poking in the background, and the mom saying, hey, quit that or I'll have to tell your father. And then we get what a lot of this book is, uh, the driving home. The dad says, you failed your driving test, you need to practice, and now the young daughter is behind the wheel, and they do have some, you know, bickering because this is a family that's in a bit of a state of crisis. And one thing that she brings up is the daughter says, hey, I was with grandma a lot near the end. I don't ever remember her saying seeing is believing. Why did you make that up? And this is an interesting thing that I kind of wonder if they'll address more is that sometimes, you know, your dad probably knows a lot more about grandma than you did is it just something she stopped doing later in life or just something you didn't notice as a kid that was obvious to everyone else or is he lying just to have an example for a story that that would be pretty bad of him and that is something I'm curious when we see more of the dad's character is is he angry is he in the wrong or is he just in a bad place and becoming kind of gruff from it? I am curious how bad of a guy the dad will be. And it may just be that he's not really a bad guy. He may just be in a bad spot. So I am curious, did he lie and his anger at his daughter? How grounded is it? Uh, but of course, after a bit of that uh, arguing, she will see a ghost boy. And I really do like the cool ghost in here. Uh, Colin Bunn did another comic, Phantom of the Scan, which had some art that kind of was like this, the whole purple and shaky thing. Uh, but anyway, they'll go off the road trying to miss this kid, and they'll totally crash. And then after the crash, the daughter is fine, and the... Uh, the dad, the preacher, can't feel his legs. Is he just stuck or is it going to be worse? But the two in the back, they're talking. The son hasn't been talking lately, uh, but I, I don't think they're doing too good. I think, uh, <laughs> I think something's going on with them. But the son is going to say, I really need to tell you something. It's something I regret not telling you before. And now he's going to talk about a creepy story. And that's where we get this different artist in a flashback. The son has a few friends. There's a girl that went to the church by herself. And the rumor is that, oh, she's a weirdo. She's probably a witch. Even though I doubt it. Doubt she would have uh, gone to the church voluntarily if she was in league with the devil, but you never know. And they, uh, the kid said his friend's going to wind up bullying her, and something horrible will happen. It is kind of a big, horrific, out there moment that kind of happens, but I, I do think it is a really fun story. You know, a really fun aside story that kind of grants you access to knowing what 
went on with this church and why everyone's so upset upset and what really happened there. But in addition to the the kid being all creepy, the car is surrounded by ghosts. And after we get done with the flashback, we find out what the ghosts really want and why the book is called Ghost Lore. Because the title, once you know what's going on, really does make sense. There's the there's the doggy from the, the cover there. I like that. And these ghosts, they really do look cool. Isn't that some fun art there? But overall, you know, the idea, where do the mother... I mean, not mother. Where does the father and the daughter stand with each other? Who's really in the right or wrong? What do they really think? And now throwing in an element where they suddenly have the attention of all these ghosts and what they have to do for the ghost. And again, I, it falls too far to the end for me to fully explain, but I think it is an interesting setup with some characters that are in an interesting place. And I really am curious where we're going with this so it's one of those things that's a good enough setup I can't guarantee just from an issue one that it's all going to pan out but I am curious and overall glad that I picked this up some really cool art if nothing else but I think I think this will pan out in an interesting way uh, and overall, yeah, I, I, I can recommend it. Colin Bunn's been doing a lot of number ones lately, and it's been a lot of cool ideas from him, so I, I am glad that he can just spit out all these fun comics. So, you know, really looking forward to the future of this one. Anyway, to everyone who's watched so far, thank you for watching. To everyone who's liked and subscribed, thank you. You really are helping the channel out. I'll leave a relevant playlist on the bottom. This should be my colon bun playlist if you guys want to see me talk about more colon bun stuff you can click right there and see more anyway have a good day i'll see you guys again very very soon relevant playlist on the bottom have a good day now